welcome back to my channel i'm vicky and i love all things fragrance body care beauty and i love a good awe so if that sounds like something you're interested in please hit that subscribe button notification bell so you miss any of my uploads okay y'all so i'm i've never done like a single scent dedicated layering video even though i said i would do one for the vanilla cashmere lotion that's neither here nor there anyways I got a um, a question if I had a video for Ice Lemon Pound Cake from Amanda. And someone else actually asked me not too long ago on Instagram about the same scent. So I was like, why not give it a try? Like, I know I will add Ice Lemon Pound Cake into regular layering videos when I do them. So we're going to see how this goes with using one scent and showing you different ways how I have already layered it and I'm also gonna throw in different ways I would like to layer you know add a little more depth to this video so keep in mind we're gonna have ice lemon pound cake as a base in some way shape or form whether if it is just the lotion just the cream or just the fragrance mist. So don't think too hard about this. It's not supposed to be complicated. I don't, I wanna make this easy because it's supposed to be fun. Layering is supposed to be fun. So again, keep in mind the base is gonna include ice lemon pound cake in one way, shape or the other. So it's okay if you only have one, if you only have a lotion or a body cream or a fragrance mist. So we'll start there. So I have me a good old list cause you know, I, I need me a list even though I will still go off on a tangent. So in general, I wanna talk about some other lotions, cream, other moisturizers in general that you could layer with ice lemon pound cake, other fragrance mists. I have some oils and some perfumes that I have all worn with ice lemon pound cake and then i have some that i want to and then there's a couple in here that i'm not sure if i've worn them or not because i can't find pictures of them and i don't always take pictures of my combos which is why so many of them end up being forgotten about <laughs> so i say all that to say let's hurry up and get into this because y'all know i'm going to babble okay again either the cream or lotion or fragrance mist She don't look like much of nothing, which is why I didn't have her up there initially. So, okay, so let's see how this goes. First, we're gonna start with other body care items that you could layer with this. Keep in mind, you don't need both sets. If you have both sets, go ahead, do your thing. If you only have one of each, if you have whatever you have. So I have worn ice lemon pound cake with strawberry pound cake. So I have worn the cream to this with the mist and I have flipped it and I've worn this with the cream. Well, the last one I had, but y'all get the point. Now, I cannot find a picture to confirm this, but I'm pretty sure I have at some point worn Vanilla Confetti Sparkle with Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Now keep in mind, these fragrance mists are mists that I have finished either in the last six months or so. So these are fresh mist so I haven't worn them together in a while but I feel like at some point I'm pretty sure I wore this with ice lemon pound cake as I was finishing the previous mist. I am also pretty sure at some point I have worn this margarita cupcake mist with the cream to ice lemon pound cake. If not it's definitely going to be on the try list but I'm pretty sure I have worn these together at some point. So I have worn the mist with the vanilla cashmere lotion from EOS. So those are the only other body care items that I feel confident that I have worn with ice lemon pound cake. So next I'm going to get into a few body oils I have tried with ice lemon pound cake. So one here is going to be caramel glacé. This is from Dawkins Aroma. And this is a dupe to um, Zerjoff Lyra, which is a lemony, desserty kind of gourmand. Another oil I have tried is cookie butter from Skin Potion. To me, this smells like coffee. So there was a routine I was doing that was kind of a lemon coffee cake vibe. So 
this definitely fit the bill two more oils i have tried are gonna be from brown sugar babe and these are caked up and creme de la creme so i think caked up is an original scent from brown sugar babe and creme de la creme is kaoli's vanilla 28 and the last oil that i have that i've tried with ice lemon pound cake is gonna be this lemon pound cake scent from body butter bakery so this lemon though isn't as gourmandy it's more of a zesty lemon but still not bad to work with so next all of the fragrances i have tried with ice lemon pound cake now keep in mind you can do one individual perfume in the combo you can do two you can do three you can do as many as you want so i have layered these so many different ways so instead of just saying these two and those two and then these two again and then those over here i'm just going to list all of them and then you can mix and match them however you want so first lyra of course and in the same vein caramel glossé from dawkins as y'all can see she has been ice lemon pound cake has been getting worn okay as you can see from the fragrance mist she's been getting worn she's been getting used she's probably project use it up but the scent profile this lyra scent profile so this is the dupe to lyra so i have been wearing this out okay Next one, Hufflepuff from House of Siage. It's a nice, soft gourmand. It's got like a little citrus, a little coconut. So soft, goes nicely with that whole scent profile. So some other scents, child, this is kind of ironic and awkward, but I have used Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I was randomly looking for something else when I discovered I actually bought a full-size bottle to this. I have no idea how long ago. So, <laughs> apparently I do have a full-size bottle to this after all. <laughs> Anyways, next here I have Hard to Get from Forever Mood. Another nice, soft, sweet, lemony scent that I think is... It, goes nicely with like if you want to do a lemon gourmand kind of routine next here is escapade gourmand from dapper it is their dupe to this so yes as y'all can see she gets plenty of love a couple others i have here are from dua Ooh, child okay <laughs> one is sweet lemon pastry and this is dua's version of bake by acro which is a lemon gourmand treat it's basically what you see in the picture okay and then the other one is going to be cloud of caramel vanilla a nice soft airy um caramel scent smells so good and they complement each other they, all these scents complement each other some other scents i have already tried are going to be the dapper version of bianco latte and i've also tried eclair i feel like i used white milk let me find white milk because i'm pretty sure i used white milk at some point with ice lemon pound cake so let me find that while i grab a few more fragrances but yes i have tried these with ice lemon pound cake and i definitely enjoy it like i said a nice lemon coffee cake kind of vibe going on i have white milk we found it another bianco latte dupe and vanillic dreams from dua i think this is their version of um tahota indult i think so I've tried these as well. And I feel like I might already have a combo posted somewhere using this with ice lemon pound cake. So glad I referenced my list again because I forgot one, one of the most important ones. This is the Fenty butter. This is the cinnamon, cinnamon buns. Does it say it on here? We know it's the cinnamon one though. So that's all that matters. The cinnamon one i love this with the mist to ice lemon pound cake <sighs> pressure okay <laughs> so this is going to be the last one on the list of things i have tried with ice lemon pound cake and this is vanilla musk from namat so you could definitely use this if you have the oil you can use that instead there's i think there's like a cake note in here or cupcake something about this is just so good okay and i I love it here. <laughs> okay, so now I want to get into a few things I would love to try with ice lemon pound cake in one of the forms. I don't know if it'll be either the mist or, um, well, the cream's almost empty. So maybe I will try and dig out a lotion if I feel like 
I'm not done with the scent. Um, I do want to wear it with the actual butter because I have the butter to this. I want to just use the butter and spritz the mist on top of it. See how that goes. I also want to try vanilla vice with ice lemon pound cake. So I know this is a nice cozy vanilla scent, but I feel like can you really go wrong if you throw a vanilla scent on top of it? So I don't think so. so we'll see. I'm not opposed to trying Christmas cookies with ice lemon pound cake as well as vanilla mocha cream because I've mentioned a few times at this point the whole lemon pound cake, lemon coffee cake kind of situation going on. So maybe the lotion, when I, whenever I dig the lotion up, this mist and one of the Bianco Latte dupes I have, I feel like that'll be a nice fluffy, lemony, coffee, cake, dessert going on. We'll see. I'm going to mention Wrapped in Vanilla. I feel like I might have worn them together, but I just honestly cannot remember. So it's going to be, it's in the video. So we, we got her covered one way or the other, whether if I've already worn it, don't remember, or if I'm going to wear it at some point in the future. Next, I have this lemon cream mist from JR Watkins. I can't believe I haven't worn this yet, but this is also a nice lemony, sweet kind of scent. So definitely deserves its time to shine. I don't know when, but sometime. Next, lemon custard from Philosophy. This smells so freaking good, and I can't believe I haven't worn you yet. You got dust on it, so I'm just gonna put it back to where I found it. We'll dust her off later, and hopefully at some point, some of these things start showing up in the rotation. Next, I wanna try Ice Lemon Pound Cake with Trosa 71, because why not? They're both very edible scents that's to the point where you can almost taste them, if you get what I'm trying to say. like. They smell so good, you can really imagine tasting something that smells like this. So, I don't know. It's worth a shot, so we'll see. Maybe the next time I wear it, I'll probably throw this in. And then, this is the last item that's on my list. So, this is Kaoli's Vanilla Oodgasm. This child. This is Vanilla Oud from the Oodgasm collection. So I haven't gotten a chance to wear this recently. I've only worn it a couple of times last year. So they've been, this collection has been sitting. So I feel like it'll be good to spend the block on these. Maybe not the Cafe Oud with this because that has a, that's a distinctive rose note, like a coffee and rose scent. So I probably wouldn't do that with ice lemon pound cake, but I can get with this. And since this kind of smells like Eilish, Maybe I'll add Eilish, which she's covering Eilish, sorry. Eilish, we'll add Eilish to the wish list to try with ice lemon pound cake. And I'm sure there's a gourmand beauty scent up there that I have probably not gotten a chance to check out. So there may be one or two gems up there that might go with ice lemon pound cake as well. All right, real quick from behind the camera because I literally just turned the camera off and peep these in the cut. Can't forget about the two new additions to my collection, Gourmand Escape, which is another dupe for Gourmand Escapade, as well as Puffle Tough, which is a dupe to Hufflepuff from House of Siage. I kind of already mentioned these since in the video separately because I already have a dupe for Gourmand Escape, well, for Gourmand Escapade or Escapade Gourmand, and I already have Hufflepuff. So they, the scents were already mentioned in a way but I wanted to bring these up just in case if you have these or if you were interested in them. So yeah, my voice has started cracking a long ago. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you, if you think I did okay here, let me know and I might try and do more single scent layering combos. And if so, let me know what other scents you're interested in me doing some layering videos for. And if I have them in my collection, I will definitely um, try and work that out for y'all. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video.